guys, welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori and I have a Dollar Tree haul for you today. I have some iced coffee. They have these at our McDonald's every year for to raise money for McDonald's house. And these are um, sleeves, cup sleeves, little, keeps my iced coffee from sweating on my hands. All right, Dollar Tree haul. I've got some stuff. I stocked up on these. These are the dish drying mats. I love them. I actually put them under my coffee maker and my air fryer. So I grabbed two for fall. I don't wash them. I know you can, but I just throw them away because they get gross. So I have two of that one, but then, but then I also got these two from the fall, but I think I'm going to put them out at Christmas time. I don't know. I like the solid on the back. They're smaller, but they my coffee maker fits right on top of them. So I picked those up just for life in general. Um, and then to decorate for Halloween, I picked these up. These are the birds. I feel like I have some of these with my Halloween stuff that I got, but you get how many? I don't, it doesn't tell me how many, they're crows or ravens and you can stick them with some devil stick tape, I don't think there's any in here, to your walls and decorate for Halloween. So I grabbed the ravens and I grabbed the bats. And I also saw some at the Target dollar spot if you don't find them at your Dollar Tree. They're fine, I put them around my TV on my wall. They look like they're flying away. Let's see what else I got in here, oh yeah. I got this for work. It says, hey boo, hey boo. We're gonna decorate for Halloween on our little desks. Of course it's glittery, but it's not terrible. These are cute. I think they are a repeat from last year. Easy peasy. Um, oh, I found these and I picked them up for uh, my niece Sarah's boyfriend, Michael. These are Centra Minis for men. It's 250% of your daily vitamin C and zinc. You get 180 tablets, but the dose is two because they made them smaller. But the, these are good until May of next year. So I grabbed him a couple boxes um, because why not? And then I grabbed these little plates. Now, I know these are great for children, obviously. And quite frankly, I would eat off of these. Um, I love me a plate bowl. I'm not sure. I'm, ouch. I think they're like a pasta. Somebody heard me talking. A pasta dish or something. I know these are for children. But let me show you. So you get four of them. See how the sides are nice and high so it's easier. I mean, they're not bad just for that. They are BPA free. I don't know if they're dishwasher safe, but I'm gonna use them under my, put them under my plants. So I have a lot of plants that leak and these have a nice deep, hi, what can I do for you? Come on, come on up, here you go. I don't have anything for you, come on. That's Wellington. But I'm gonna use these as saucers for my plants and I like that they're lightweight, but I also love that they have this deep side. So I grabbed those for not their intended use, right? That's okay. I have all kinds of stuff here, guys. I haven't really found too terribly much unique stuff that I haven't seen, but a few things. Okay. This was interesting. This is fusible interfacing, which I use. So I was curious to see how it is for sewing. Um, you get a yard of it, which I don't really even know if this is a good deal or not, to be honest. At Joanne, I feel like you can get a yard for less than $1.25. But again, it's at the Dollar Tree and we want to try it out. So I got it to try. Just you iron it if you're gonna do sewing and stuff. And then I picked up, okay. Oh, a tarp. 
I use these when I do outside spray painting or any kind of messy stuff craft-wise on my table. I will lay this down. It's just a tarp. Tarp. I don't even think this one has the metal rivets. Oh, yeah, it does. They're right here. Okay, so that's for crafting purposes for the house, just to have. Um, I grabbed two packs of these. I like that there's only 16 in a pack. I'm sure they're not the best of quality. These are sheet protectors, but I have a binder and I stick my cross stitch patterns in here. And I usually put one per sheet. And I've been doing some shopping, so I figured I'll get some more while they had them with the back to school stuff. I don't know. If I don't think this is something that they carry on the regular because I've never seen them. So I'm not saying they don't have them, but it's not something I typically see at my store. What's in here? Oh, let's see. We have more stuff, guys. I've been at, I've been to several Dollar Trees just trying to find some unique stuff. We're kind of at that point in the season. Um, I did see Christmas. My, hi. My Dollar Tree... Plus that I went to today had Christmas in the plus section. I bought one thing, but of all my other Dollar Trees have their crafting stuff out. You know, the wood stuff that they bring out every year. So I, it was nothing new. So I haven't picked any. Well, I did pick something up, but it's all the kind of the same wooden stuff. Um, I grabbed these. These are the 20 piece resealable bags. I use these for a few things. One, I use them when I put little gifts in if I'm for my cross stitching retreat. But I also use these to put medicine in when I'm traveling and they don't take up as much room as the plastic. So I would say one a day is a dose of my medicine that I take and then I just can toss the bag when I'm done. The plastic things tend to take up more space, I feel like, than little baggies. So these are great for that, if a little big. Um, I got some blue candles because I feel like this is going to match my decor for fall. I'm going with like a blue gold um cream theme this is not quite the blue i'm more of a navy but it might be a nice accent color so we'll see it, it doesn't matter if i don't use it for that um i grabbed these little miniature jingle bells in the green red and gold because hi hi all right what can i do for you huh well, yeah um i use it for zipper pulls on my project bags and also I think I'm going to do a craft with them. I'm not 100% sure but they're just darn cute. These are the tiny tot ones you get 50 per pack. I looked for them last year and my store sold out of these. I don't know if there was some DIY going on. I didn't get silver uh, because I went with gold but I love these and they're tiny and they're perfect for crafting at the holidays. Um, speaking of crafting, if we've all seen the Woobles, the crochet kits, the DIY crochet kits, and then I bought one on Timu that I haven't done yet. I have done the Woobles, and I can tell you it's as easy as they say because they have video directions, like literally step. Boy, that wasn't nice. Don't be poking your claws at me. Don't be rude. The people think you're sweet. Um, so Dollar Tree, of course, came out with their kit. Now, I can tell you... Their kit does have, Lord have mercy, it has everything. Um, is that a crochet hook? It even has a crochet hook. This is a complete kit. I am shocked. You get a plastic needle, the yarn stuffing, a crochet hook, plastic beads, oh, for the eyes, and instructions. I'm assuming we're not getting the video tutorial but I'm kind of shocked that this is a complete kit, just like the Woobles, which is $30. The one I got on Timu is $8, and of course this is $1.25. Now, you kind of have to have some knowledge for crocheting, just as an FYI, but who cares? And then I found this. This is a diamond painting kit. We're gonna see what comes in this diamond painting kit. Because I'm kind of shocked. Surprised for this as well. All right. So you get, obviously, your picture of what it's going to be. You get... Okay. 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 This is your sticky... Where you stick your beads, right? So those are your... Where you put it. 
some directions. So diamond painting directions. You get your, I think they're called drills, but you get all your little your little beads that you need. Um, okay, okay, Dollar Tree. You get your little tray, your wax, and your little pokey tool. This is a complete kit, guys. And if you've never done diamond painting before, like I've never done diamond painting before, you can try it out. They had the pair, mine had the bird, it had like a watering can one, and then I think it had a tiger. So obviously you're gonna be limited on, um, I'm trying to put this away and he is wanting my attention. You're limited, obviously, on the de designs and stuff, but I'm curious if they're going to come out with, like, maybe some fall, Halloween, or Christmas. So, how... Hi, Alex. We're just... Everybody's here today. So, I'm kind of excited for that. This is just killing me. I mean, it has everything in it. Your eyes, your... I mean, the crochet hook, I'm not going to lie, looks a little suspicious to me, but whatever. It's in here. So we got some kits to try. Alex, get off my desk. Does anybody want some black cats? Sir, get off my desk. Get your back. Move, move. He's not listening. Nobody's listening to me. I'm, I'm grabbing more stuff. Oh yes, I know what's in here. Um, For a DIY that I'm hopefully gonna get out this week, look at the size of that purple spider. I'm so excited for my front porch. It's gonna be black, purple, and orange, Halloween colors, but mostly black and purple with just a little tiny bit of orange. I'm dying here. So I grabbed this big spider, and then I found, my store finally got these little kits. Now, they have, this is a knockoff of Wellbees, Wellies, Wellies or something kit that I, I have purchased the little first aid kits and they come with much more than this kit. But you get the tin, obviously can be reused. And inside you get a little bit of medical tape, um, band-aids, right? So you get some fun band-aids. I don't know what the quality is. And a myriad of different shapes and sizes, right? So you get like the littles up to a standard size. I don't think you get anything bigger on that. You don't. But then you get some gauze bandages here. Two pieces of gauze and your medical tape. Not bad for $1.25. Um, the wellies, I think you get like first aid creams and ointments and stuff, which I use those when I travel. Like they have a little, they have a kit like this and I'll buy it and then take it out because it has travel size ointment, travel size like burn cream, antibiotic ointment, but they're little one time use and band-aids. So when I go on a trip, I like to have those with me, but this is super, super fun. And winter's coming and my fingers will start cracking. So I needed some band-aids. I got another one as well, which was just pastels. Okay, they're done. They're done looking at me now. Trash on the floor. All right, what do we got behind me? Oh, I had more stuff. Okay. Um, I picked up also from my front porch gray and white creepy cloth. I will probably end up using the gray, but I think I want to make like um, over my door kind of like not like a garland or a valance, but something like cobwebby, but there's white and there's, well, there's a cream color. Well, you can see it on the back. And then they're calling this gray. It's a dark gray or a light black or like a not quite black, but feels like there's actually, actually more in the black than in the gray, but I think it's just how they folded it. Um, and if you've ever used this before, it's super fun, but it's, I think it's really just like a one-time use situation. You're not going to be able to get a lot of, like, take it down. So I'll put it up there and kind of cut it all haggardy. Um, oh, mm, mm. this is a repeat buy, but I love them. So I needed them again for my planner this year. These are the rub-on transfers. I will tell you my trick is I cut, I cut them out. I don't try to like transfer 
from this big sheet. I definitely cut out each individual, like hooray for Halloween. I will go around that and then the cats and the owl. I love that owl and the little bats. And I would decorate my planner for Halloween. But if you, cut, if you try to do two at one time, they will stick and you'll get a mess. So take your scissors and cut. There's a clear, um, a clear plastic covering. I cut through it all. So it all stays attached. So I have those, which is a repeat from last, I mean, years they've had those. This is 100% new at my Dollar Tree this year. I love it. Um, a cabinet of curiosities, tonics, potions, and antibiotics. Of course, there's glitter on it. It is meant to be hung, but my mantle is kind of short because I have my TV hung and I think this will fit. I may glue some like legs on the back just so it stands. I know. I love it. And it goes with my black and purple theme. It'll probably go in my house too, or at least my jewel tones. And then I have stuff to, to go around it. So I will cut the ribbon off and put some feet on it. Isn't that awesome? Here, we'll do a thumbnail with this. That's a better thumbnail. So I grabbed that, and I think these are new as well. It's purple garland, but um, I think what I'm gonna do is when I do this, this I did not get this at the Dollar Tree. I got this at Michael's, but it's a cobweb reform, and I think I'm gonna go around the outside once or twice with this purple greenery, purple garland. I got enough to go around it twice. And then I have a big bow and then I'll put some spiders on it. Nothing fancy, just enough. So I grabbed two of these. Oh, these are glitter bombs, let me tell you. We'll put them right back in the bag along with their friend, the glitter bomb. That spider, oh, that spider would actually be really cute on that if you just wanted to do one big spider. But I want to thinking I'm putting that spider somewhere else. We'll see. I've got stuff everywhere. All right, this is the last purchase, and I bought this stuff today. Um, oh, I found these fun stickers. Uh, Sarah loves her some princesses. These, I want to open them up because I want to see. Um, we're going to share them. But let's see if they're all the same sheet. They are not. Okay, so these are like velvet. I got it to give her this because that's her. She's Belle. Um, so that's one sheet. And then you get this sheet. They smell funny. That sheet and that sheet. So you get four sheets. There's a lot of princesses here and you know, there's a lot. I'll give her that one, but I want, I like that one. So I grabbed these to share with my girl. So they are 50 velvet stickers. And they also had transformers maybe. I don't know, there was two of them hanging at the register. Um, so I'm getting ready to start getting my planner ready for next year and by getting ready I mean I'm just buying stickers and stuff although I am designing a sticker pack for the planner that I designed but I will want some other stickers as well so these are this is for this year and just whenever um I got two things left so Sarah's boyfriend Michael is a tall guy and he has some big feet, that man. Uh, I think he wears a size 15. And so I found these, and she said he has a hard time sometimes finding socks, because these are extended sizes. It's not, uh, the normal sock I think goes up to a size 12, and he's a 15. So this is for 12 and a half to 15. They're just white socks, you know? But they're for the big feet. And so I grabbed him two packages of them because for $1.25 for two packs of socks. And the brand is Game Sport, Omega Sports. Yeah, a large is from size 9 to 12. Their extra large is a 12 and a half to a 15. So if you have anybody with extended, extended size feet, check, check your Dollar Tree. 
because they may have some. So his socks will go with his vitamins. I'll see her Monday. I'll bring them with me to pottery. And then the last thing I got, these were $3 and they were in the plus section. And these are reflective magnets for your car. And we are so going to take a look at these. Because I will decorate my car for Christmas. Oh, I like them already. They're pretty heavy. And they're just like your regular car magnet. But I think at night they reflect the lights, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, they're like a reflective. So you get this one. The red and white. Uh, you get one with Christmas, oops, Christmas trees. Uh, you get this one, which is like a gold and red and the stars, but you see the weird little, they're reflective, red and white. There's a lot in here. Oh, that's a fun one. And then this one. I was thinking I should get another pack, but I don't think so. And then this one. So you get a pack of eight. Um, and I will just decorate my car. I mean, why not? And then take them off after Christmas and they don't, no harm, no foul. You just need to wash, the directions say wash your car and um, clean at the application area with any dust or dirt and apply the magnet. Do not apply to fiberglass, aluminum, plastic, carbon fiber windows. No adhesives are required. Do not apply tape or glue. So they're just telling you not to glue it to your car because that would just be a bad idea. We shouldn't be gluing stuff to our cars. I mean, I get it. We all have, I mean, I certainly have window stuff on my car, but I also want to find a Grinch window cling that is like my passenger. I know, wouldn't that be fun? I love that they put them foam in here because I guarantee you it's for shipping. And that, friends, is everything I got at the Dollar Tree this week. So I hope you enjoy and I will talk with you all later. Have a good one. Bye.